So we don't try to justify it on an individual basis. We look at it as part of a portfolio of, of uh, our customer relationship management and uh, our business development efforts. But it is, it is uh, a significant enough investment that uh, we want to send senior people and we want to make sure that we get uh, uh, demonstrable value out of the, out of the summits. There's two parts to that. One is the what goes on before the summit. Um, Marcus Evans is really good at planning and organizing and finding out what's important to us uh, as we attend the summit and uh, very helpful in um, aligning what we're looking for with those of the customers that attend. And I think uh, that's what you don't get at normal uh, conferences and trade shows and events. They're more random in process. The organization and the structure of this is uh, what makes it uh, beneficial. That carries on at the summit. Um, responsiveness is excellent. Uh, scheduling impromptu meetings, scheduling uh, dialogue with people uh, either in the networking sessions or in formal meetings. And then uh, lastly is the follow-up that occurs afterwards to make sure that uh, uh, things are advancing and uh, then uh, obviously if you're doing multiple of these then you're planning for the next one. So uh, it's kind of a continuum I think. And again, that's something you don't get at uh, normal uh, conferences or trade shows. Again, we don't look at it that way, so I don't have uh, specific numbers, but uh, uh, I would say that the, um, to, to get the number of meetings that we get at one summit um, just would not occur. So at any cost, and it's a matter of the time and the challenge of coordinating and aligning those um, and by that I'm talking about the level of people that we're meeting with and the, uh, and the quality of the meetings. Well, we think there's no substitute for face-to-face -face meetings and, uh, you know, since the pandemic, it's been, during the pandemic, it was impossible to have face-to-face -face meetings. And then since the pandemic, we find people are more uh, amenable to hopping on a Teams call or something. And uh, so we find face-to-face -face meetings are really difficult to get following the pandemic. And, Again, that's another uh, reason that the Marcus Evans event, T&D Summit in particular, is uh, beneficial to us because it is all about the face-to-face -face meetings and the relationships that you then can build from that. Again, we don't, we don't compute an ROI on something like this, uh, uh, but we've definitely, uh, we definitely deepened relationships that we already had with companies and we have made new, new ones that we think will bear fruit in the future. So a lot of what we're doing at this is not looking for, we don't come here to get a job or a contract. Uh, we come here to uh, provide a pipeline of opportunities for the future. And that's what I can say that we have uh, uh, opportunities in new locations and with new customers that we would not have gotten without this summit. Um, at some point that will convert into a contract and then I can give you an ROI. I wouldn't say I had fears. I, I questioned whether we would get uh, the value out of it that, that the, um, you know, that, that uh, the cost requires. Um, but the fact that we came back says that we have and we think it's beneficial to the long-term uh, success and growth of our company. It takes a long time. And as I said, before the pandemic, it seemed like it was easier. Um, today, people, um, have evolved to not answering the phone. They get too many emails. I think it's really difficult to uh, uh, penetrate a new customer, um, except in areas where we have pretty unique value proposition. But the average cold call, I was speaking on behalf of my whole team, they struggle to get the door opened. And again, that's the, this is a great door opener that's the facilitated process and uh, um, you, you don't know exactly who's going to be here when you come as a, as a solution provider, but you know that there will be good quality companies and, um, and, and quality people. So we like that.